Greenville holds a super hard game to earn money in. However, these are some of the methods pro players use to get rich. Having a job selected is undoubtedly the most basic thing a lot of beginners forget to do. However, when you do, you'll notice that you'll typically see yourself getting anywhere from $500 to $700 every five minutes or so, which adds up like crazy over time. Additionally, while having a job equipped, setting your cruise control to 55 to 60 miles per hour will ensure the best results and will help maximize the amount of money you can earn from doing this method. These two methods are the current best grinding methods in Greenville that don't break any rules, as by doing them simultaneously, you can expect to make anywhere from 30 to 50k per hour, if not more. As in recent patches, Greenville has made it so now you actually have to drive in different areas constantly to get paid. Although these are both great grinding methods to do together, within recent updates, more grinding methods that are also very efficient have come to light. Grinding with interactive jobs is a somewhat well-known grinding method, but definitely isn't used as much as it should be. While doing interactive jobs, not only do you also still get the auto payment every 5 minutes or so, but also depending on how many actions you do to help you earn money, you can actually earn a lot. The only issue with this method is you do actually have to pay attention to your game to achieve the best results, unlike with driving where you can just set cruise control and you only have to take turns when needed. One of the best grinding methods that Greenville currently has, specifically for when updates come out, is game codes. Currently, the in-game codes primarily seem to give you a DTE, aka drive to earn boost, of certain percentages, which can help you out greatly when going around the map earning money for driving. The only downside to this is that codes currently only come out on update releases and also have a limited quantity, reducing the amount of chance you'll actually have to be able to use them in-game. Anyways guys, these are currently the best grinding methods in Greenville that don't break any rules. Obviously, things like AFK grinding are out there, however, they are easily bannable, so I would not even recommend trying them. But if you want to stay clear of getting banned, these are the best methods you can use, and these should easily help you earn anywhere from 50 to 100k within an hour or two, which is definitely a really, really good amount, as even if you only grind an hour a day, you could expect yourself to get around 500k within about a week or so of grinding. But anyways, for those guys who have any other grinding methods in the comments below that you find efficient, make sure to leave them down. And if you guys have any questions about these grinding methods as well, make sure to comment those below. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.